fire. This, this, there's a drugstore that's really fully engulfed. Back up a little bit, Carl. And uh, right next to it is Wild Man Pizza. Standing here next to me is the owner. His name is Frank Barbano. He, we have been standing here watching this fire uh, get bigger and bigger. He knows right now there are no firefighters here, and the chances of his store going up are, I don't know, Frank. What do you think? Well, I think that whether it goes up or not, everything around it is destroyed. I'm one of the last stores still standing here in the shopping center. I'm undamaged this far, but... If I can't open tomorrow, I can't open next week. I mean, there's nobody's going to come around here to go shopping. It is total loss, total loss, millions of dollars just in the shopping center. Let's go back to the fire there. Yeah, it's it's this is spreading so rapidly, and it, I almost think think there's gas or something because it just seems to be feeding this fire. This is the largest one I've seen so far today, at, uh, the one that I've uh, covered. I don't know. It just seems to be feeding awfully rapidly. And Carl, don't get too close there now. Uh, like I said, we can't see them right here, but looters are going around the back of the shopping center. They have just been driving their cars up, loading things up, and driving off. Uh, I don't know. There's also a fire now across the street, Carl, if we can show them that, right across the street. Hold on one second. Yeah, there's a smaller sp fire. And, you know, we've got some residential uh, apartment buildings behind this whole area, so I hope firefighters arrive pretty soon because the way the, the speed with which this fire is moving uh those apartments have to be in danger. Uh, yes. Ask Carl if he's going to stick it out in Los Angeles now. Frank, uh, Frank, are you uh, thinking about sticking it out here? I mean, this is uh, this is your life here. Yeah, um, I don't have insurance. Like a lot of small business owners, um, insurance is very expensive, especially with pizza and delivery. And uh, if I if I lose, I lose, and that's my life. You know, I, it's uh, it's devastating. I'm I'm surprised you're 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 still here. I mean, uh, it's like you said, every, all the stores around you are are pretty much gone, and uh, you're sticking it out. Well, I've been here since last night. I've been here since last night, and uh, uh, my main uh, concern was people trying to break windows and break into the place. Uh, it's gone far beyond that. There was a fire right in back of us, and I've been uh, battling that um, all day long with with a couple of hoses. Uh, and another store owner as well was helping me. Um, but uh, now it looks it's it's just uh, pointless now. It's just. Uh, it's just beyond hope. It is devastating. Uh, it's, 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 it's spreading so rapidly. And you know, Michael and Bree, we talked about the wind. You can see it in action right now. It is just whipping these flames along. And uh, I, I can't tell you how far. All right, it's just spread into this front store, this creative bakery. You're just seeing it right in front of your eyes right now, folks. It's, it's just a, this wind that's whipping it so fast that don't get too close, Carl, because that, that'll pop. But that glass will explode. That heat must be intense it's, there where you're standing. Oh, it's, it's, we're sweating. We're sweating, and we're a good distance away, but it is intense, intense heat. And that's that's why the fire spreads so quickly. Oh, it generates yeah. such an enormous amount of heat. Oh, incre look at this thing move. I mean, my God, this is incredible. How will Frank uh, begin to uh, start over now? Ask him how he'll, how he'll start over. Okay, Bree, let me see. We're, I'm trying to locate Frank. He's obviously a little bit upset. Uh, he's yeah, seen I can his, imagine. his business go up in, in front of his, his eyes. It would be curious to know if this was the first time that he, he looks young. It might be the first time he attempts he attempted to uh, run a business. And I'm curious to know whether he's going to want okay, to stay in L.A. and, and try it again. And if so, how? Frank, do you think you're uh, going to try to start again here? Pardon me? Do you think you're going to try to start again here? We're seeing this fire just really move. Uh, I'm just going to have to sit it out. Um, you know, being a cash business, you rely on your cash every day. And I'm closed last night. I'm closed today. This may just put me under, regardless. So what will you do next, Frank? Or not. I know. Frank, who's with you right here? This is your... This is my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? Yeah. What's your reaction? You're seeing this... I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like this. This is my manager right here also. Hi. Ruben. You're out of a job now, it looks like. Huh? Yeah. Just shows to show you these fires are affecting everybody. Here's Frank, his girlfriend, and his employee. Uh, and his employee looks like he's out of a job. Have you been here also with your your, your boss? No. Yeah, all day. I still working right here. We were trying to get some lunch today, and uh, nothing's open at all. Um, we just uh, sitting here waiting it out, and uh, it's unbelievable. I just I've never seen it in my life. I hope I never do again. Yeah, we're hearing it pop. I don't know if you can pick that up uh, from this mic, but it's really snapping now. Let's just listen. Okay, we're going to move back. Carl, move back. We've got to move back because the cleaner's going to explode. Carl, move back. Okay, we're getting, we're getting way back because that thing's going to go, I think. 
any indication what that, that any kind of uh, explosives what, may be I don't in there? No, but it's it's a bakery and some drug a drugstore, but it's just going. I it's going so hot that it it, I, it just looks like something's going to explode. Let's get way back, Carl. Well, look at the amount of smoke generated too. That's tons and tons of pollutants uh, dumped into the air from all of these fires. Yeah, we'll Absolutely. have Absolutely. Uh, Let me get some more reaction here. In Los Angeles. What do you what do you think about this? You've been watching it too. Um. It looks weird, you know. I don't know what to say about this thing. But um, I thought that's the way it has to be. I don't have nothing to say about it. I don't know, sir. I had to disagree with you there. To understand any story, you have to start at the beginning. We live it in civilization. The beginning of civilization started in Egypt by the Egyptians, who is known today as the black race. All right, sir, I'm going to cut you off. We're going to go back over to the flames. Hold on one second. We don't want to incite. Uh, okay, this is what it is. We just found out, Michael and Bree, the cleaners has cleaner solvent in it, and that's why we're fearing an explosion here. That, that was what we were concerned with. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's moving. It's in the bakery. Back, that's what you're looking at, and the dry cleaner's right please, next door. Jody, please, please leave that location. Yeah, we are. We're moving back. All Come right. on, Carl. Let's pull this cable. Uh, in the meantime, this is so The tensions are too no, high, help me, also. Help, help me pull this cable. We can't help. We can't help by having our presence there now with, with yeah, the Yeah, we're, we're backing way off, and 